But that's not the real issue that we have there. see the records from... Well, that's not the real situation. Yes, it is. And we are having... Well... Welcome back to Never Famous. If you were to ever meet a world leader, would you talk to them like this? Is this the proper way to have a debate? Uh, please hit the like, comment, and subscribe. Welcome back to Never Famous. Established as the Dominican Republic after 300 years of colonial rule, which included the enslavement and massacre of imported African people. Like here, America, and other countries affected by colonialism, the legacy of slavery still lives in its laws and practices. Homophobia and transphobia are racist European concepts enforced on enslaved Africans to increase the amount of African children to be enslaved for monetary benefit. Generational trauma from colonialism and slavery also created colorism that is hyper-present in the Dominican Republic. Colorism, as seen today in the maltreatment of Haitian people, especially pregnant Haitian people already in the DR, so not on the border, along with homophobic and transphobic laws and attitudes, are legacies from slavery. What are your plans to rid the Dominican Republic of the racist attitudes of homophobia, transphobia, and colorism? Let me tell you. I'm a little confused. I didn't know transphob like transgender Trans stuff. I don't know the, the proper word for that. So Ex existed during slavery times, three hundred years ago. That's a few. Yes, it, it's, it's not necessarily. Technically, there, there's arguments that that transgenderism has been there since like like Greek times, since like the Roman Empire. There's like and even prior to it. There's some evidence of it, but I don't think it was the way she's describing it. I think the way I view this is uh, somebody wanting to conflate u.s issues into another country because i think there is lack while there may be an element of some racism in dr i'm not colorism gonna that. definitely exists in colorism, the Republic. but i think in dr is more about classism than anything else like a lot of the issues you'll see probably fall more within class and colorism because sometimes if you have the money you can do whatever the fuck you want in the kind of I, I think that's a world thing today though I, I know I, I understand that. I'm not disregarding it, but I think you see more of that than this. But I think what she's doing is she's conflating uh, a third world country to the issues that America is living through yeah. and trying to expose it and put it on to DR. Because I'll be transparent. Like when it comes to transgender stuff, there is not too many countries as accepting as DR. And the way they will promote someone who's trans and the way they will give them a platform and the way they will push it. And like, like I can think of the top of my head of at least five or six famous transgender people from the art. Who? Like, I was about to ask you, like, who who they allow? I don't, I don't know. La Kisti, that's one. Like, that's a bunch of social media influencers. You have, like, Mia Cepeda, like, she's literally on TV all the time. It's been on it since, like, the 90s. Uh, and, like, they don't get misgendered, none of that. Like, it's the type of stuff that I think the, like, it's weird to describe it. Like, is it, like, and if I show you, like, pictures of who they are, you'd be like, oh, I've seen them. Like, I've seen photos of them. Because they're influencers. Okay. 85% of the Dominican people are mixed race. There has never been an issue of race. A real issue there of is race. An issue of well, race that's my opinion. Today. That's your opinion. And I am telling it's not you. an opinion. It's something that a well, lot of people but my opinion is A lot of people darker than you could tell you. Yes. I mean, this should be a respect. This is a very interesting thing. It's like, if you ask them a question, let them answer. Even if you're going to disagree, at least, let him, at least let him express what you believe is not going to be an accurate answer. Right. You have your space to talk. Like, give him It's his. not a debate. It's a question. Correct. That's it? No, not yet. And this should be a respectful exchange of opinions. So don't, please do I not. I would love it to be a respectful exchange. Yes. So we don't have, we have never have a problem, I mean, of race. In any society, you have a small a small area that you can have uh, problems. You have it here in this country. You have it here in a lot of other countries, even in the most democratic. That is for any democratic uh, country and, and that respect and fight for the rights of the people, that's unacceptable. What I am telling you, that's not a wide problem in the Dominican Republic because... So I want to acknowledge, he's not saying that it's not a problem. He's saying it's not a wide problem. Oh, wide. wide pro I thought he said yeah. white. white. No, it's yeah, not I mean, a white. wide. Oh, problem. It's not a problem. And like, and, and good thing he's using his hands, because I, because I also want to keep in mind that he's saying the, the that he has a strong accent. But 
He's saying it's not a wide problem in the Dominican Republic because there, there's a lot of truth to to him saying that there, that like especially in democratic countries, democratic racism definitely countries. exists. Like I, this is the most democratic country. Racism exists exist everywhere. Yeah, and now some stuff that people don't know historically with DR is so, and and I think there's some stuff you have to put into context. Like, and I think living in America, it changes your perspective on it because literally America went through not only slavery, America had to go through also. Uh, segregation where you're like segregating people based on race dr didn't live through that like there was never like loss or anything that segregated people from leaving together so that's why in dr there's such a mixture of races because there were people getting married having kids a concept of like mixed families in dr started like it's way before basically. correct like i get it it might have been at the beginning in this exception i'm not saying that it was right it was like sure, slave slave owners and like native people and a mixture of everything, but the living together piece aspect of it started way earlier than it even did here in America. We are mixed race. Most eighty five percent is a mixed race. We are also uh, daughters or grandsons of also of immigrants. The situation with Haiti, I don't think that there is any other country in the world that, that has this amount of statistics uh, about uh, maternity hospital. Could you tell me, could you name just one country in the world that 35% of its maternity uh, beds are occupied by other country people? Just mention one country. Yeah, I did. I, I, didn't, I didn't see this part of the video. Like I didn't get that statement. Do you understand what you're saying or no? There, I was thirty-five percent of the. Uh, sorry to cut you off. Thirty-five percent of the occupants in in maternity wards in maternity wards in Dominican hospitals are of other are of other countries. They're Haitians. The the thirty-five percent is Haitian. Mm -hmm. okay, so yeah, so that's what that's what he was trying to say that they they're Haitian that, and that doesn't really exist in other countries. Is what I'm assuming that. Like but if you look that up for other countries, it's a lot lower. Yeah, but like even if it was happening here, imagine in America, we say thirty-five percent of maternity wards are currently being occupied by undocumented immigrants that would be a national crisis automatic what bro I'm not, like 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 once you say it out loud yeah, and you think about you, it you, you're like because then what now you said undocumented immigrants and i'm like oh shit wait hold on when you put it like that i'm like that's not that yeah that's a lot but 35 plus 35 percent of the people and for dr that it's a it's a, it's a small it's a of actual people, it's a smaller number because of like it's a small country, but the percentage is high. Correct. So if you give that, if you put that same percentage onto America, America you you we have a lot like more the pop just the population of the country, including the immigrants, would like fucking triple. Yeah. Because you think right now of the like of uh, the population, I think it's like almost forty percent is is non-white or some shit like that. Like it's getting it's getting close to like where it yeah. like whites are. It's a, going to become the But minority. I don't even think it's an issue of race or not race. I don't care like that aspect. I think what you're mentioning is uh, these are people that are not contributing to the economic system in DR. So it's not like they're paying taxes, right? They're coming in, they're giving birth in DR. And then after you get birthed, it's not like you can bill them for, for the services. No, I'm, I'm, I said all that just to say the and the amount of people, not, not anything to do with race or anything, but just the amount. But, if 35%- But of, that's why I want to make it into like the crises that it will become just of the burden that it can put on the country, yeah. like monetarily. Like if you have 35% of all your maternity wards are people that are undocumented that just came in through the border to give birth. And the reason they're doing that is because there's no hospitals. Let's say it's Mexico because it's the, the country that's closest to the ER. They, there's no hospitals that are feasible for them to give birth, so they're crossing the border and doing it. That shit is crazy. Just mention one country. There is no United one of the States. I, I don't think the United States have a 35% occupied by, by foreigners in the maternity hospital. So, and we are not a rich country. Do, you, do we charge anything? You know that we don't charge nothing to. to, to women to, are being removed forcibly and they're being hurt and they're. Well, like that's your opinion, but that's not the real issue opinion. that we have there. You can there. see the records from. Well, that that's not the real situation. Yes, it is. And we are having. Well.
Now, now I'm going to say one thing. And that was the end of the video. She just walked away. She said, then, thank you. And just walked away. So you could tell a little before. She like, oh, I'm getting smoked right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What are you about to say? So about as soon as we started hitting facts, she just walked away, which is kind of like, that's the type of stuff that you will notice. She was reading off a paper. And I think that's something that I don't like, that oftentimes people will come and they are so dig into... I almost want to say an ideology in in a, in a mindset that mm -hmm. they don't think any way beyond the base layer. So as soon as he pushed back a little bit, he wasn't able to keep going. Now I'm going to say something that I think the president there did wrong. I think he should have kept going and talk even after she left. Even at, yeah, because he stopped talking. Even I'm like I I would have been like okay, let me still address That's the, the question and and explain it because I think a lot of that is missing when it comes to the art because there's a lot of misconceptions that when you're looking at it through the lens of the of the US or first world country, it is easy to automatically make DR be the bad guy because you're going to put the US issues and try to view it through our lens, not through the lens of DR. And I'm like, from a perspective of aiding, I don't think any country in the world has aided Haiti more than the Dominican Republic, period. That and like, true. and that's a fact. And but nobody ever speaks that. And I, I don't think DR does a good job of sharing that with the world. And like, how is it assisting? Just the maternity ward piece is one very simple thing. And other than that, and there's places like even in the capital, there's hospitals where sixty percent of the babies being born are by Haitian mothers that are undocumented. So you're saying a hospital has more people from another country, the majority, being born in it than the citizens of that country. That's fucking crazy. That's really crazy. I think she spent more time typing up that little uh, paragraph in her phone than doing the actual research. I think that was given to her. Like, it makes me feel like maybe she didn't come up with it because a lot of it came up afterwards and, like, I don't want to put up her social media up and stuff. Some of the stuff that I do think that people, like, think like her should do is why don't you research. promote how can, not even research, how can I help Haiti? If I do believe that Haiti is in such a struggling position, which they are, like I'm not disregarding that, how do you help it? One of the ways you can do that is why don't you put money into their tourism? Instead of going to DR to vacation the way that you do, why didn't you go to Haiti? That shit fucked up, man. Yeah, the gang's like, why you go to Haiti? They take the hotels soon. out that bitch. That's how you know that shit fucked up. When, when everybody, when all the big president. businesses start, like all the big major world companies start leaving out that bitch, and you know what's something going on. Yeah, but yeah. I guess that's an example. That's why they were posting all those photos, because that's those are pictures of her in DR, in DR. In DR, yeah. Vacationing in DR. And then the, there was other shit. Like, Dominicans went crazy because she had, like, a Dominican flag with the pride colors pride on color, it. Yeah. Uh, oh. and, and in DR, that's illegal. But she's here, so it doesn't matter. But, like, stuff but like is, that. So is she Dominican, though? No. Her is her girlfriend is Dominican. Because I, I, don't, I don't think that any of the things that she said, um, like, the, like, the, like the statement that of... The, of Haiti, the transphobia, and the gay phobia, I don't think she really gave anything to, like... Back All she said up. was, yeah, it's like, I'm saying it, yeah. That's what like, I mean. She didn't really give a, a <laughs> real... Like, and, and, like, she's, she's uh, a... She seems to be... And now I'm assuming, based on her social media, she seems to be lesbian. She's in a lesbian relationship. So she's part of the LGBT community. Why would I go to a country that's oppressing people like you so much to vacation and support it and give them money? You shouldn't even feel comfortable going to DR in theory. You get what I mean? Because if it is such a terrible country in that way, then how are you comfortable going there? Right. If you're that I, vested in these issues, you shouldn't be comfortable. Don't support it. Exactly. Or I think like she could still go to DR or whatever. But I would just say that like if I if I was her, I would I would have I would have maybe added that into like oh like I'm not Dominican, but when I went to DR, I experienced these things. So I'm just I'm solely speaking based off of my, my personal experience. experiences. Like how can this, how can something be done to help? She didn't say that. That's what I'm, that's she what she should have said. She literally said it was the report say it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Now and like there's extra like la layers because I know there's a lot of conflict going between DR right now and Haiti, but like the stuff going on between DR and Haiti has nothing to do with race. But like the people from outside the country are making it all about making race. making it all about race. Right now it's all about you're the only person I've heard say that it's not about race. It's not. It's about natural resources. It's about water. Literally, it's water. <laughs> Yeah, well, like I, I like I said, you're the only, the only like, cause I we're obviously we're all Dominican and shit, so I I follow a bunch of Dominican social media and all that shit, and it's just like a lot of the shit that of what I'm seeing is just like oh it's it's like so it's some racist shit like that. Mm -hmm. I I don't see nobody talking about nothing about water 
I see no, like it's literally water. water, like literally. So there's a thing. So there was a, a 1929 treaty to share the, the river. That's one thing that's been, we're going to, the river's going to flow the way that it flows and the side that's in DR, we're going to share it. We're going to use it. The side is in Haiti. Haiti can use it. Simple. That makes sense. Uh, that river itself initiates inside of DR. It runs inside of DR for like 60 kilometers or something. I don't know the right kilometers before it crosses a little bit into Haiti. Now in 2021, they develop a new agreement to be able to build a, a channel to deviate some of the river. But the way that, that it was worded uh, is they stated, we're not going to deviate. worded? Worded, yeah. Like the wording in, in the agreement was, we're not going to deviate the river. Like the course of the river is going to continue. So follow my idea. Okay, so, so I'll give you an example. Imagine we have a highway. We're on 76, uh, and you can go into deviate to go into the bridge to Ben Franklin. And the cops are deviating traffic. He's talking about Philly, by the way. If you I'm just using like a road. Imagine a highway and the cops come and they start deviating traffic. Yeah. So the verbiage they use is, we're not going to deviate the highway. We're going to deviate some of the traffic, some of the water. Okay. So they're not deviating the river because the path of the river it's is going to continue. There. But we're going to move the cars to go in this direction. The highway continues. It's just going to be empty. Or there's going to be less cars flowing through it because we're deviating a portion of it. Now, the part that, that got kind of tricked into the wording was that when they first opened the, the, the channel, they want to open it that it's going to move 1.5 cubic uh, meters per minute or per second. That's how much it's going to deviate into the channel of the water, 1.5 cubic meters. And eventually, when it's at its peak, it's going to deviate 3 cubic meters per Seconds or minutes? I have to double check which one is that per minute. Now, the difference there is the river itself, if they're going to deviate up to three, flows at a rate of 2.0 cubic meters. It'll empty the river. So if you're going to deviate three, that means that the river will never come back to DR. Yeah, the path of the river is going to stay, it, but you're going to take all the water into it. So with that, in, with that then who, who would... Who would be the beneficiary beneficiary of of that new divvy would be DR. No, would be Haiti. Haiti is the one doing it. So, because it, but they'll be, and that's the that's the issue that right now. A lot of this is being done by pri private entities, so private corporations mm -hmm. from Haiti. From Haiti, because okay. there's like there's sort of like a prime minister. They, yeah, they don't. But really they, have they don't have a president, president, so you don't really have a functioning government at the moment. Yeah. So right now, most of it is going to happen because of private corporations that are funding this to happen. And what the R is saying is, if this continues in the way that it's going, it's either going to escalate, because you're literally going to deviate the river, which is going to impact all of the crops in the R that go below that level of the river. Like, it's not going to happen immediately, but eventually everything from there down is going to dry out. That's the simplest of terms. Okay. And, and then, then it, just the river will start running into Haiti. You get what I mean? So, um, so so how like how what kind of effect would that have on DR in terms of like like crops? Literally or? that like the fertile land will go dry. It will be there'll like be Haiti. a there'll be a section of the habon moving downwards that will start to dry out. For the for the people that are listening that haven't been to Haiti or the Dominican Republic, when you're on a plane and you're landed in the Dominican Republic, you could like and you see like that border, mm -hmm. you can see the border from of like the difference in the sides of from. What Haiti looks like and what the Dominican Republic looks like. Haiti looks like his pants. <laughs> Fucking DR looks like the gas we be in saying. Like that shit is so, DR green. looks super like, green. Haiti looks like super dry, look like a desert. And then like DR looks like a whole tropical. You see a bunch of trees. You see a bunch of green from that and not, from that distance. As somebody that has I've been there, but I wasn't born there. Like, I don't know enough about it or whatever. I don't know why. If you ask a Dominican why in DR, they just be like, yo, Haiti is fucking cursed because they don't have God in their country. They say some bullshit. Some shit that has nothing to do with, like, with actual um Or they say, like, oh, shit. they they be dropping no, their land, so, cutting so that, and burning everything. Yeah. So a lot of that comes cool. from the French. So, like, they literally dried out the land as much as they could. Like, they just farmed it, took as much as they could out. And then they were like, all right, you want your freedom, you're going to have to buy it. And Haiti still owns, uh, still owes France money from, from when they became independent. That shit was like four fucking yeah. years ago. But that's kind of like, that's the situation. It got like, their land got 
bled dry. So like, so and, like, and then it just doesn't regrow. Like, well, the thing is that you have they, the corporations have come in and they have dried out other rivers and stuff. So like, similar to what they want to do now, mm -hmm. which essentially you start deviating and you start using it. At, like it's happened in Hawaii and stuff like that. The corporations start using it for their benefit, not for the benefit of most people. So they just let the, the land go to shit. So basically, the same shit that's happened in every island in the Caribbean. Yeah, mm -hmm. the same shit that happened in Puerto Rico and I. I think it was like the 30s or for whatever mm -hmm. like with the, with the domino sugar shit that we I don't, I don't know if we talked about this on the pod but that's something that's also something i've been learning about was puerto rico and like in its inception mm -hmm. and how or like how america came to like turn puerto rico into a state but not really a state and why it benefits and why it benefits america that they aren't really a state or whatever yep and like how the domino sugar came from from puerto rico and then they they set up a whole system like you can look this up the government or whatever like they like looked out for all their friends so the and sugar cane, yeah yeah. yeah, so similar, similar situation. And I think right now, like Haiti is at a point that it needs more help than anything. And I think because there is no structure of government, there are bad actors. And the best way I can describe it, like there's, because there has to be a handful of people. It's like almost oligarchies, like a certain set of families that are the ones that are benefiting the most. In every country. Within of, Haiti. Every, every, Every time there's turmoil, there's always a, yeah. a, a significant like group of people. Like that there's a few set of families that will benefit the most. And like, if you get these people out of the head of Haiti, you'll probably be able to get into a fruitful kind of a country. Uh, they just don't let yeah. it grow. Uh, they 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 kill the they, president. So you figure how like exactly. I don't know if it was be, like he was good or bad. You know what I mean? As a president for the country, for the for the average citizen. But if they killed the president, like it's gonna be hard. It's gonna be a, a very well, long time before there's they any killed time. It, of, they still haven't replaced them. <laughs> like to and you know what I mean? And we're going over a year since that happened. So like that puts like like so like what do you expect a country like the art to do? And what the art did was close its borders. But the best way I can describe what the art is doing with crossing of the borders is the same way US will put sanctions in another country, as opposed to taking like actual military action, they'll be like, Oh, we're gonna sanction you. So like you're gonna we're not gonna sell you products yeah, yeah. and stuff like that. That's different though. Like closing closing the border. Is that's the thing. that's the example. That's how that's the effect that that can have in Haiti for DR. Because there's a lot of people that literally cross every day from Haiti to buy products and supply themselves from DR. It's an open border. They're allowed to cross like back and forth. Like yeah, that's a section of the border. Just like you can in Mexico here. Like you can go buy and go back kind of a thing. Yeah. So people go shop and come back. That's San Diego type shit. Yeah. That kind of a thing. So it's like, and because there's no way to like really enforce sanctions other than like literally, you cannot sell here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're closing down the borders. Damn. Well, I'm I'm very interested to, to see. And actually, and that would be one happen. of the best, most amicable ways to kind of solve it. Because in theory, the R can just dam the river up in the mountain, and then at that point, it doesn't flow down at all, and the R will be within its right in theory because it's happening in. In their country. Dominican territory. Yeah. They're like, oh, yeah, all right, we're going to shut everything down. Fine. No but that's not what they want to do. Fine. It's more like, like don't like use well, the hey, river I, I, as I, we've I, been talking about it, but don't try to. I'm going to keep it a being, though, as a. I'm going to reference this by saying that as a very ignorant person, as a person that doesn't know nothing about any of this shit. Why, like, why don't they just, you know what I'm saying, like, the public got the idea or some shit? Like, name that bitch one country or some shit. No, you can't do that. that. No, no, I'm just, I don't know. I just tried to put it together. But you get what I'm saying? Nah, like, this, so now we have to go into the history of DR. Because uh, I know one time, at one time it was all Haiti. And sort then of. They, they switched. Sort of. But yeah. what happened when it was all Haiti? I don't know. Because the art. I know they ended up, like, fought, like they. The art well, got its in, independence freedom. from Haiti. So what Haiti yeah. happened was, like, all right, so we're going to, our land is no longer fertile. So we're going to enslave the Dominicans. So Haiti enslaved Dominicans mm -hmm. to now work the land. So that's why the Domin like Dominicans revolted. And then that's what caused the friction between That was the like Arcade. in the 1800s or something like that. Towards 1700? the end of the 1800s, yeah. So that's, 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 a, that's a long ass time. Probably bro. a lot Ain't of people that. that time alive, bro. That shit, they could, you know what I'm saying? There's probably a that's, lot of that's people. Like, we, like, and, and, that's the same shit that happened here. And the same thing though. with like cultures and stuff. Is it? Like they, they, they have mad uh, slaves and shit. There's probably a lot of people yeah. that didn't even know that Dominicans were slaves at one point. Of course, you're in I America. I didn't know that shit. I like no, a lot of people knew there were slaves. They just didn't know you were in slaves. They were slaves to Haiti. Haiti. Yeah, because I knew there were slaves to, to Spain. I had to, I looked at shit because yeah. because DR freed itself out there a, a few times, like three, four times, some shit like that. Yeah, in Spain and I think Haiti twice or something yeah. like that. 
they can like they free themselves a couple of times and if you read more into the history it depends on how you read it because some people will read certain events where haiti looks like the good person because it helped the r free him free free the country from spain but which they did so like if you talk that part of the history that sounds very very good but then you don't mention i was like oh now we're going to do what's being done to us, to you. So what the U.S. did to Puerto Rico. Same shit. It's and, all the same and like, shit. And it's been all the way up to, like, even in, as late as, like, in the 1930s, during Trujillo, there was still conflict around they, they went to war with America at that time, didn't they? Who? DR? Not with America. Not like a full Not war. Not like a war war, like a... It's like, you know what I'm saying? Because yeah. obviously they can't so like, compete, but To like, stop what happened in Puerto Rico to, from happening in DR. Yes, that happened. Oh, that that was why that was a similar similar situation, same oh, approach. Shit. Are you serious? I didn't know that. I'm learning. I'm learning a lot today. I love this. I feel. I fucking love this. After all, really educated. Today. Yeah, no. I'm gonna go home and look this up. Like now, like I'm. I've been enjoying history a lot, but like I'm. I've been. I've always very like really enjoyed history, but like like now I'm really starting to enjoy history because I'm learning like the real history. Yep. Uh, as opposed to like the shit that they teach us in school and the books and what. Now, honestly, like I would want to, like I want to have this conversation with somebody from Haiti. I'm gonna try to find somebody, bring them on the pot. If there's any Haitians out there, hit us up. Because I think that the way the conversation also goes, it goes to be in conflict automatically if we only want to portray everything from from the lens of race, which is usually the first piece that happens. But I think when it comes to between DR and Haiti, like there's a lot of elements of culture that also get overlooked. And I think for, in order for a country to kind of work, and we can kind of see a lot of the turmoil that America is living now, is if there's not many cultural similarities, then it's hard for you to kind of live in peace together. Like if you were to like make it one island, because like Haiti, we speak different languages, yeah. literally. Yeah. Uh, they speak, and they, even within their country, so there's like different dialects that they speak. Uh, in addition to that, some of the values tend to be very different. And then even religion, like the R is extremely into Christianity. Like it's the only country that has the Bible on its flag. that couldn't be more contrasted from one another. Right. So it's like two very different kind of belief system, which will probably make it different, very difficult to just blend it in, coexist kind of a thing. Um, so I want to end this, but I also want to like, Cause they, you keep saying shit that keeps bringing questions into my fucking <laughs> mind. Because so then what do you, all right? So what do you? This is my this is my last question, and then one day, um, in the where you compared America to Haiti and the like, and it wasn't not values, but something you said before that. Fuck, I don't remember the exact word that you used in the like the cultural and the cultural differences that we see that affect us here is like similar to Haiti. What did what did you mean by that? Like no what, no no. Like we can see how much conflict that can come. From cultural if you don't have some form of assimilation you have to assimilate for a culture to work so okay so in, so like in america, the main difference you, like in america right now we what have are you saying that aren't that aren't really connected every single group you can put in like there there's many people that are like either not aligning on religion believers non-believers political parties uh now you have uh the like gender ideologies like there's many different things that are starting to friction people's belief system but I, I think that it, that's like look like it's it's us on a much bigger scale because of the amount of people that we have here. No, I understand that. But I I think like there are like a a percentage of people that are, that exist in because we all three of us exist in each and and a, a group or multiple groups or whatever. You know what I mean? Like there's people that like that exist in LGBTQ. There's people that are that are like their religion is Democrats and Republicans. Yeah, everybody the, has a different like thing that. But that's the concept their thing. of groups is a very American thing to do. No, I think that's a world thing. No. I think where we fuck up is that like we we like as a well, hold on let's stay on one point first where we got to keep it like for Americans they got to be like or not Americans excuse me but as people we got to look at it as humans like oh we just like all right yeah we have these beliefs and whatever it is that I believe in like in this but I'm also a human that even though you believe something different than me you st I still I love both of y'all and all three of us have different beliefs and different shit but I still love y'all you know what I mean mm -hmm. that and that's what I think is something that we should try to look at a little bit more no but i mean it in the app no, i don't mean it in that way because i feel like humans are tribal in nature so that's, that's yeah that that's, 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 that's part of being human but i think most countries have at least an element of country pride like so like, patriotism like patriotism yeah. as the overarching thing like there's many different variants in the in, on, underneath it mm -hmm. but the overarching thing that we can all fall under and maybe the flag of that country yeah that's the reason we're losing a lot of that in america
like you have a lot of that in the art. Like there's a lot of like yeah. people in the art very patriotic. Yeah. And I think the difference between oftentimes I see between the art and Haiti falls more on the patriotism, not the way that we view it as race in the U.S. Because in the U.S. it is a racial thing oftentimes because that's the way that it's spoken about here. In DR, it's more about DR versus Haiti, literally the patriot aspect of it, the country aspect of it, and the history between the countries, not just the element of like race. That's what I meant by it. Yeah, I think the only thing that fucks up our, our patriotism here is the same the same thing of like what we talked about in this in this video is just that there's just so many people. Like from so many different places. It's just a, it's just a fucking jumbo of uh But America's always food. been that. I think America's always been that. It's always been a, a like a mixture of people. And I think you have patriotism at a very high level up through like early 2000s, all the way up and through like 9-11 uh, and probably a little bit beyond it. And I think on purpose, there was the, we identified, oh, it's like if I can play the identi identity politics thing, identity, identity politics, politics, and like wedge people i can use that to my advantage to gain power that's the russians, uh, and that's bro, where the russians did that shit did that's that where it kind of got to, to the point that i got now thank you guys for tuning in to yet another never famous clips please like and subscribe and if you guys know any haitians anybody that's haitian out there and would like to be on the podcast please let us know hit us up on the comments or dms and we'll figure something out we, we, yeah, we're definitely interested in having like a very fruit, fruitful and productive conversation. We do, we try, we like, we trying to learn over here. So, you know what I'm saying? Please let us know. DM us.